degrees I believe it's gonna be a high in the 30s need to wear layers <laughs> so today is a create day today I'm going to take the photos that I worked on or that I shot on Monday and create a new version of that urban mandala project that I'm working on I shot uh, Monday's photos with more intention on thinking about the mandala in its entirety. So I had a clearer vision of what I was looking for when I was scanning the streets and looking for inspiration. Uh, doesn't mean that I know what I'm gonna do. So it's always crapshoot and we'll see what the dice rolls. But today is a create day, always fun. So for today's uh, creative project, I already kind of went into Illustrator and built the little pizza slice for this mandala, uh, the second version. Uh, I kind of figured that we should just put it together first and then let's get right into creating it. Um, if you notice, this one is going to have less pieces. So we have eight pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so they're a, a bit bigger. Uh, my idea today is to kind of play with how they overlap. Uh, you, just, you can see that these ones are behind the top ones. So I'm gonna play with some new ideas, but let's go into the images that I shot on inspiration day. So these are the images that I shot on Monday. They're not fantastic, that's not the point. The point is as I'm walking around the city going to get coffee or going to go to the bank, vlogging, there's so many amazing things and some of the stuff is not so amazing but it just is cool and it inspires me and, and uh, I think little pieces of the puzzle that can really work for these very interesting mandalas. Um, there's some just really amazing graffiti around the city. I mean, this is an entire storefront. It's, it's just a piece of artwork. I mean, it looks like, you know, chaos, but most of these graffiti artists are pretty big. And what I want to do is start, today I want to start with the city shots. So if you notice, I've organized this into more of the graffiti shots and then a bunch of pieces that I will silhouette out and use in certain places possibly uh, and, and these couple of city shots uh, I'm gonna try to first build something out of these city shots first what I want to do is straighten all these angles because you know when you take crappy photos your angles are never straight I'm never really worried I kind of go at this entire project um, working more guerrilla style uh, where you just attack things and see what you get it was also really quite cold out that day so I didn't really want to be sitting out in the cold for 20 minutes just to get the right shot but you know as I do these I'll get better at shooting it's the only way to get good at anything is to do more of it so I know my Photoshop skills are good. It's just my photography skills, are, you know, they're, they're growing, they're growing. I know a lot about the whole concepts and workings of cameras, but uh, truthfully, I've never done it professionally. So when you're in the moment and you're using a camera for taking sh actual shoots, 
a good photographer would know all his settings uh, in advance and really have a clear idea of what they're going to be doing in the shot and what exposure and f-stop and shutter speed and ISO most of the time uh, I just kind of am more worried about getting a, sh a shot uh, so as I get better at these I'm trying to get better shots I'm going to do a little uh, I want to silhouette out these buildings so I, I just want the white sky to be transparent so I'm just gonna use a little quick select around the white sky All right I'm make this into a new flattened layer oh I should be doing this in workspace there we go so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm going to no, make that here turn this around turn off that I'm going to darken this so that it's going to be easier for it to be silhouetted I hope oops wrong one So what I'm going to do at this point is work on the small pieces and get them silhouetted out. I have a, a, a clearer idea of the of how I want to put this together. Uh, I will let some of it be formed from happy accidents of the shots that I took. But there are a number of these pieces that I think can work as silhouettes and perfect mirror images of themselves that I'm going to use. So I'm going to do that work first. So now that I have the few pieces that I wanted to get siloed and worked on before I started working on the whole piece, I'm going to now start opening up the one big piece and we'll see how we put this together. So like I did in the last mandala, mandala one, I all these are smart objects so that's a, these are actually duplicated and flipped so one will affect all
Okay, so I think that's about as far as I'm gonna get today for the basic concept. I think there's a lot more to do. This one's a little bit tough. Uh, I think it's looking cool though. There's definitely some interesting things coming up. I really like the idea that it's creating these interesting squares at certain spots. And I like the way the buildings are starting to look. Uh, interesting, I'm not so happy with the big bell in the middle, but there's a lot of little tweaks that I can do. But I think this is a good start. I think there's, there's something very interesting in there. Uh, and the more and more that I look at it, the more interesting it becomes. So uh, that's for today. Yeah. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this project and if there's any other projects that you think I should be working on or shooting. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing the third part of this crappy photos on Friday, the enhanced part. And remember, inspire, create, and enhance every day. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.